here on our pastors will stand Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Fan, a church you can call home. Amen? Amen. So praise God. When we honor God and our family, serve others, we pursue excellence, and we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. If you don't have that, you need to get that. Amen? Because you're a part of this. Amen? So you need to have a passion for Him, and you need to have a passion for souls. Because the Bible says you're ministers of reconciliation. Wherever you go, bringing people to God. Amen. Praise God. So we want to welcome all of you, our, our NBC family, all our visitors that are joining us by audio and video. And we just want to welcome you and say, prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Just like you prepared yourself to receive that nice Thanksgiving meal. Well, each and every day when you spend time with Him, prepare to receive what He has for you. Amen. So don't turn Him off. You know, Turn him on because he's knocking and we're holding back. We need to open up and let him come in. Amen. We mean we want to sub. He wants to sub. It means he wants to visit with you. He wants to have a relationship with you. Amen. And if that's not happening, it's not because he's got a problem. It's because we're not opening up and we need to open up. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Hallelujah. And we're going to be talking, continuing with uh, giving thanks to him. Giving thanks to him, number two. Amen. Because he's not finished with you, Lord's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you, and none of them include defeat. That's each and every day. Not just once in a while, but each and every day. Include yourself, involve yourself, amen. Participate. Uh, we talk about this all the time. He's called us to be participators, not spectators. When you spectate, that means that you're just sitting back watching it and saying, I could have did it better. I could have done it better. <laughs> No, it's not about that. It's about you being involved and doing for Him. Amen. One of my favorite scriptures, I've got it on a slide here for you, but it's Colossians 3, 23 and 24. Is when you do whatever you do, do it unto Him. When you do it this way, you're seeing people the way He sees them, and He sees them with love and compassion. For God so loved the world. We're talking about His love and His compassion. For God so loved us, He sacrificed His Son. What about us? We need to do the same thing. When you walk with his love and his compassion, you see people and things different. You see them the way he sees them. Amen. So you give of yourself instead of closing yourself off, you know. And you're no good to nobody that way. Even if you are a believer. Amen. A believer will let the word of God out. You take the word in, but you gotta open up and speak the word. Amen. So and here's another thing is we need to be available. He's ringing, he's knocking, but we're not opening up. We need to be available. Yes, Lord, I'm here. Yes, Lord, I'll, I'll do it, you know, and go each and every day. Whenever he says, I can do, you can do, the Bible says you can do all things through him who strengthens you. Amen. You can do all things. Lord, I'm going to do this because I know that I can do it through you. You give me the strength to do it. And he says, greater is he that is in you mm -hmm. than he that is in the world. So what's going to stop you? If God is for us, who can be against you? Yeah. You're holding yourself back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater is he that is in you. We got to take the word in so we can speak it out. Because we need to be walking in authority. Yes. Not shame, not fear, but in yes. faith. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm blessed already. <laughs> be a winner, be a champion, and be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. And see yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Don't see yourself the way the world sees you. Disqualified, unqualified. He's already called and qualified you. Yes. Amen. So just remember that. Amen. Who be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. That's it. That's Amen. It. Because you're always going to fall short for the world. But for God, you can always count on him. Amen. And he can count on you. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm excited. Yes. We can say amen and we can go home. Let's uh, grab our swords and let's make yeah. this declaration together. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's say it all together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do all things. Oh, so I can say. <laughs> I can do what it says I can do. Today, I be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Then I just went into another scripture. <laughs> Hi, that's good. Laughter is good for you. We're going to be, we're going to be talking about smile. Amen. But that's good. I love this. Amen. I love. I love that. Hallelujah. Pray for Pastor. <laughs> and we just came through. Uh, 
we just we just got done with this. Uh, just leave right there, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Bible says, "Giving thanks to Him." Number yes. two. Amen. Give thanks Amen. unto the Lord. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Yes. Give thanks unto the Holy One. Give thanks because why? Because He's given us Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. His Son. Amen. And now we can say, "Let the weak say, I am strong." Let the poor say. I am rich. Why? Because of what the Lord has done. We're just yes. going to review a little bit and then we're going to get into it. Amen. Amen. But praise God, giving thanks and yes. being grateful. Yes. And of course, that's our scripture. The next one, Scotty. Keep going. Giving thanks to the Lord. Yes. One more. One more. Keep going. There we go. Right there. This is our text. <laughs> it says, For God, yes. So John 3 16, for God so loved the world. We're talking about people. Mm -hmm. What's in the world? People. people. When you go into the world, what do you see? You see people. people. Amen. So remember, you are the body of Christ. You're born again. You're the body of Christ. And you're going somewhere to happen for mm -hmm. somebody. For God so loved the world. Now you're a minister of reconciliation. Bringing the gospel to the world. Bringing the light of Jesus to yes. the world. Amen. That's yes. a dark world out there. That's a negative world. Amen. Oh, and you're bringing gosh. what? You're bringing the good news. Amen. You're bringing the good news. You, there's a lot of good things in you, amen. Don't let the world just shut you down. It says, for God so loved the world, people, that he came, his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. But you know, this is not the end. This is only the beginning. That's it. That's amen. It. <laughs> this, is, this earth is not our home. We're just passing through because heaven is our home. And it says, but have eternal life. Yes. Amen. Have eternal life. Leave it right. Leave it right there, Scotty. Go, go up one. There we go. <laughs> yeah. hey Amen. We're always talking about attitudes, so we're going to talk a little bit about attitudes. Yeah. It says believers should be giving thanks to Him daily. Amen. And uh, with an attitude of gratitude. Yes. So I'm glad you asked me. What is gratitude? Well, gratitude is greatness. Mm -hmm. With greatness. With thanksgiving with appreciation these attitudes change depression into joy it changes a frown into a smile mm -hmm. nehemiah 8 and 10 says what for the joy of the lord is my strength amen mm -hmm. so let's let's remember this proverbs 17 22 i can't quote all these so help me out uh, proverbs <laughs> <laughs> help pastor pray for pastor 17 <clears throat> Let me get there. I want, I want, uh, you that are watching, you that are listening, we, we use the word of God. Amen. So we use the Bible. Yeah. Do it like a medicine. Yeah. <laughs> 17 22. and 22 is one more. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. 22 says, a merry heart, a joyful heart, a merry heart does good like medicine. Amen. But a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Smiling is good for you. Mm. Some, of, some of us practice too much frowning. <laughs> Let it go. Amen. You are open. You, you, you attract people more. I'm going to read you a few things here in a few minutes. And also, um, Psalms, we read it all the time. Psalms 20, uh, 118, 24. It says, this is the day the yes. Lord has made. I says, I, I, I. You can say, some translation says, we. Some say, I. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. He didn't call us to be sad about anything. Amen. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. So whatever is coming, don't be afraid. The giants are coming. David was still joyful. Amen. We can do the same thing. You've got giants coming against you. Your giants are different than mine, but still, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. So, uh, rejoice and be glad in this day God has given us. He's given us today not just to sit and kick back and do nothing. He's called us to press on. Amen. He's always, we're always pressing on. He says, put on the whole armor of God and press on. Not hold back. But press on. You've got something to do. And Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Jesus came and he did. Now it's up to us to continue as a body of Christ. Amen. And doing all these things. And 
He says, another thing to be joyful about, listen, I'm going to read it to you, and you, we read it all the time, but that's okay. We need to get it in us. Amen? Because we need to, see, we need, we need to know and we need to share. And uh, Colossians, uh, excuse me, the page is stuck. There we go. Colossians 4, 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with sadness. No, with thanksgiving. says, Let your request be made known to God. Amen. So, <laughs> all these things can come against you, but he says, Give it to me. Cast it on me. Give it to me. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And gladly give it to him. So why are you still holding on to him? Amen. I wrote it this way. So let's give it to him. It's, uh, let's see. King James says, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So changing, listen, changes. A frown, it changes again, it changes the frown into a smile. Smile, greatest gift you can give. Costs you nothing, but you have to do something. You have to smile. It yeah. attracts more than a frown. So you see a frown on somebody, you don't want to approach them. <laughs> you see a smile, and you it's inviting. It says the prettiest thing you can wear. A smile. Amen. We need to practice that a lot. You know? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's the best makeup you can put on. <laughs> That's for us guys, too. You wear makeup? Yeah. I put my smile on every day before I go anywhere. <laughs> be the, listen, be the reason somebody smiles today. Mm. Amen. You see somebody? Smile at them, you know. They'll smile back. It attracts it, you know. <laughs> and, 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 and it, yeah, it confuses them, but it's still... It draws, it, it draws a smile. It says, be the reason why somebody smiles today. Mm. You see a person sad all the time and just down and out? Smile at them. Say a kind word. Say something nice. You know, it just opens up. Listen, you need to write this down. Let your smile change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Amen. We said it a different way before. We said it, you know, have peace about yourself. Don't let the world in anything take, take your peace from you. Amen. You bring them into your peace. Amen. Don't let them drag you out of it. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Smile brighten somebody's day today. Yes, it does. Amen. Man, yes, amen. you think you didn't have anything to give. All these attract, you know, all this is good. Smile and brighten somebody's day today. Mm -hmm. What did you do today? Man, you brightened somebody's life today. Amen. And you know what? Smile is not a weakness. That's it. Amen. It doesn't matter what's going on. A smile is a is a strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just shows you, man, the greater it is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Regardless of what's going on, I'm going to smile because the greater one is in me. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. So we want to give thanks to the Lord. Psalms 107 in the Amplified says this, 107.1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his compassion and loving kindness endureth forever. Amen. In the uh, New Living Translation says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He, his faithfulness, his, his faithful love endures forever. Amen. So again, uh, that everything, everything that you do, Give thanks unto Him. Amen. It says, let every day be a day to give thanks unto Him. Not just once a year. Man, we just passed. We hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. But this is the day after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't let that day that's gone once a year, you know, when you spend time with Him and say thank you. But each and every day, giving thanks unto Him daily. Not just once in a while and once a year. Amen. Or once he does something for us. Well, you want to thank him. You know, he did something for me. No, that's not the time to thank him. Thank him each and every day. Amen. Hallelujah. 
It says, give thanks because the Lord has done what? He's forgiven us and he's forgotten yes. all our sins. Yes. He, he forgives and forgets. We need to do this and we need to mm -hmm. uh, learn this because the enemy people will hold things against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the battlefield of the mind, you're always remembering these things. You got to be able to renew your mind with the word of God so you can let these things go and not go there anymore. Amen. He forgives and forget. And we need to know the same thing. Every time it pops up, says, that's a done deal. I gave it. I cast it. And I, I'm not going there no more. So we're going to press on. Amen. <gasps> Heals all our diseases, <coughs> sickness, anything that's coming against you. He heals. Yes. Amen. For says, by Jesus Christ, you are healed. Yes. He redeems us from destruction. He saves us from the pit. <laughs> You need to know this, especially nowadays as the days get closer. You need to know that you're going up and not down. That's There's it. two places you can go. But he says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Amen. So if you want to go, if you want to go up, you better go through Jesus mm -hmm. and receive him as your Lord and Savior. Otherwise, you're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And it's not his fault. He's already made a way for us, and he did it all for us. Now we need to obey, confess, and accept him so that we can also join him in eternity. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. He gives us a loving kindness and his mercy. He gives, he blesses us. He blesses us to be a blessing. Amen. If you're not blessing, if you're not giving, you're holding back. Because Jesus gave that we might give amen and you know what <laughs> when you give it's coming back to you yes. the bible says yeah. good measure pressed it's down and shaken. shaken together you know it's not just one one you know he's going to bless you and bless you and bless yes. you and say thank you lord amen. Yeah. and the more you give the more he gives yeah. so you cannot give him That's but it. don't stop giving <laughs> hallelujah he renews our our health and strength our youth is renewed as the eagles, the Bible yeah. says. So more reasons to giving uh, thanks unto him. Giving thanks for his presence in our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, as a believer, you got to have relationship. We just, uh, well, I'm not going there yet, but we need to have relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, he's there for you. He says, people desert us when we need him, but he will never leave us. The Bible says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always there with us. Amen. Yes. So let's remember this. Uh, we need we need to grab a hold of this because people will come and go. People oh, yeah. will leave you. And oh, when yeah. you need them, they're not there. Mm -hmm. But he says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Okay. Hebrews uh, 13, uh, 5 and 3 says this in the New mm -hmm. King James. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be con uh, content with such things as you have. Yeah. For he himself has said, he said, I will never, never. leave you nor forsake you. And okay. verse 6 says, So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Amen. When the greater one is with you, and that's all, that's all you need. Amen. And you're going to press on. And you, just like David, you're going to attack those giants. And when <coughs> the giants see you coming, they're going to turn and run. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the way it should be because yeah. you're taking authority he's given That's you. It. If you're not taking it and if you're not using it, it ain't going to work. No, it won't. But when you use it, it it'll work for you. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. you, Lord. <laughs> Psalms 23. Uh, Psalms 23 says, His presence is always with us. He is our Lord, our, our, our shepherd. He is our pastor. Yes. That's what shepherd is. He's our he's our pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. So can you find that one, Scotty? It's uh, up there. Okay. I have it for you, but uh I guess it's uh, real small. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it says Psalms twenty three and it's got each and every line has something that the shepherd does for us, the pastor does for us. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. He says, That's relationship. You need relationship with him. We can't do it on our own. We need him. Yes. He says, I shall not want. He supplies 
Amen. He supplies. He says, that's supply. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. That's rest. He restores my soul. He yes. leads me by the still waters. That's refreshment. Yes. Amen. He restores my soul. That is healing. Mm -hmm. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Mm -hmm. That is guidance. Mm -hmm. For his name's sake, that's his purpose. Mm -hmm. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that's testing. I fear no evil. That's his protection. Mm -hmm. For thou art with me. That's faithfulness. <coughs> he never yeah. leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. Mm -hmm. The rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That is discipline. Mm -hmm. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. That is hope. I can have hope in him. Amen. Thou anointed my head with oil. That's consecration. My cup is running over. <laughs> you know, you don't you don't have an empty cup. When you spend time with him, your cup is going to be filled, you yes. know, as you feed yes. yourself the word of God, and your cup is going to flow over. He says, When yes. your cup flows over, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah. And you're going to speak the word, take authority. Amen. Yes. But this is awesome. Amen. My cup ran over. That's abundance. Mm -hmm. He's blessing. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Yes. That's a blessing. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. That is security. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That shepherd, he's there for us all the time. He watches mm -hmm. over his sheep. And for when? Forever. Forever. That's eternity. Mm -hmm. Man, we get to spend time, eternity with him. So praise God. Man, I'm happy. Let's go through what we've got to do on a daily basis. You know, one day for, we're going to be with him for eternity. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be sad about. I smile every day, every day you know. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you've given me. Yeah. The main thing is <clears throat> he gave you a wake-up call. Yeah. And you woke up. You opened your eyes. All right. <laughs> and you're here. So guess what? We're not here just to kick back and be comfy, you know. We're here to press on with what he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. and the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. All we just got to remind ourselves all these little things. Otherwise, if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you can just fall back in the flesh, you know. And the flesh wants to say, man, Cowboys play today. <laughs> There's some games on today. Oh, whatever things, oh, you know. But the thing about it is, if you serve him first, he don't mind mm -hmm. you doing what you do. You know, but still, the Bible says to seek him first each yes. and every day before you do anything else. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That was great. To God be the glory. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and, of course, Psalms 91. <clears throat> Psalms 91 is a, a safety of abiding in the presence of God. Yes. Amen. Man, you just... Can't walk, can't run away from him. It's best to be just right there with him. Amen. Yes, amen. He says, In my presence, uh, Psalms, excuse me, Psalm, uh, Exodus two, uh, 33 and 14 says in New King James, it says, And he says, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. You know, the world is going 100 miles an hour, and they need rest. And they find other things to give them rest. You know, they find stuff that is not good and don't have good side effects. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we can get high on the most high yes. and those side effects are good for you. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So we know where to go. Amen. Yeah. Like they just like me, you know, the story says uh, uh, Mary and Martha. Mary saw Jesus and she went and ministered to the Savior, the Master. Martha is so busy, you know, we get so busy, we can get so busy, you oh, know yeah. what, if you drop dead, they'll find somebody else to cover no, for you, <laughs> yep. you know, and the job is still not done, <laughs> so don't get too preoccupied in what you're doing, you know, and forget about your God, man, I yeah. got my week all planned out for me, I got so many priorities, <laughs> and you can only go so far, you know, Mar Martha came and, and asked the master, said, Will you have Mary come and help me? I got so many things to do. She knew to serve him first. Yes. Amen. Chose and we need, we need, we need, she chose the right thing. Amen. We need to choose the right thing. Amen. Seek him first. Yes. Amen. Before you go and get yourself too busy and rage out there in the world. Because you're going to find it. You don't have to find it. It'll find you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Quick. Mm -hmm. Number two, give thanks for his protection. He's there for you at all times. There are many dangers in this world, yet he has, he has, he, he protects us. Amen. God's protection has kept us alive so far. Amen. And he's there for you 
each and every day. Yes. He's the reason we're still here. Yeah. And if you're still here, guess what? He's not finished yeah. with you. He's got a call. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but he's got a call on you and for you to do something. Amen. If you go hire, if you go and get you a job somewhere, <laughs> they're going to pay you to do something. And yeah. they're going to pay you to do something. <laughs> they're not going to pay you to be the boss. They're not going to pay you to just sit and do nothing it, or play on it. your phone all the, all the time. <laughs> they're going to pay you because you've got responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Because you've got things to do. Amen. That's so it. He's there for you. And, and <clears throat> he, he, wants, he wants you to have a uh, relationship with him so that we know what to do. Mm -hmm. He's got our, plan, our, our day plan, but still... We need to go and find out what the plans are. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So, Lord watches over us. He protects us. Remember Psalms 23 and Psalms 91. Pray them each and every day. Remember the da dangerous situations we have faced face in the past. God protect us. And you know, some of us have some testimonies that we can talk about. Because mm -hmm. if it hadn't been for him, <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't be here. Oh, yeah. And if you made it through, it's because he saw us through. Yes, Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, yeah. I'll fear no evils. For yeah. God is with me. Remember we talked about this so many times. That he's God on the mountain. When yeah. things are going so nice. And, mm -hmm. But he's God in the valley too. Yes, he and is. he's there for you. Amen. So, yeah. you know, just because you're doing good and all of a sudden you're doing bad. Mm -hmm. Know that God is with you. Yes, Amen. <laughs> God protects us. Be grateful and thankful. Have an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord, each and every day. Psalms 24 and 26 says, You can trust God to protect you. He will not let you fall into harm. Amen. He, he's there for you each and every day. Psalms uh, 91, 3 and 4 says this. I mean, easy to read version says, God saved you and from hitting dangers. And from deadly diseases, mm -hmm. you can go to him for protection. He will cover you like a bird covers his, uh, uh, spreads his wings over its babies. Mm -hmm. You can trust him and surround, for him to surround and protect you, just like a shield. Man, this is good. Thank yes. you, Lord, for protecting us mm -hmm. from every danger. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Giving thanks for his provision. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Amen. He'll provide all your needs. Uh, Philippians 4 and 19. We say it all the time, but still, don't take it for granted. It says, God shall yes. supply all your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. So thank yes. you, Lord, for providing all our needs. Mm -hmm. Whatever that need happen to be. Yes. Amen. He's there for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Psalms 20, 34, 8 through 10 says this. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you, his holy people. For those who fear him lack nothing. Yes. Amen. See yourself in him. It says the lion grows weak and hungry, but those who uh, seek the Lord lack no good thing. That's good. We, 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 need, we need to know this. You got to get in the word. Know what the word says. You know, get it yeah. in you. Meditate on the word and grow in the word. It's called maturity. We're maturing in the word each and every day. Yeah. Not just once in a while, hit and miss, you know, but each and every day yes. we're, we're, we're growing in him. Yes. Giving thanks for those he's placed in our lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for our parents. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for those that you have placed there. Sometimes yes. it's for a short season. Sometimes it's for a mid-season. And sometimes it's for a long mm -hmm. season. Amen. But thank you each and every day. Yes. Amen. Don't take it for granted. Amen. Yes. Give yes. thanks to him for all the wonderful people who have been a big blessing in your life. Amen. Amen. Don't forget. <laughs> Praise God. The Lord was with Jesus. He was with Moses. All these Bible heroes you, you talk about. God was with them, but guess what? God is with you. Mm -hmm. Amen? So don't exclude yourself, include yourself. You're in the body of Christ. Yeah. He's the head and we're the body. Mm -hmm. We're the church. So he's going to do the same thing for you. Never say that you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you say. We've talked so many times about it. be careful what you say. Words mm -hmm. are carriers of good or bad. 
words are carriers of positive or negative of life or death but you make the choice because you have to speak it if it's not going to bless you if it's not going to do good for you don't say it it's best to just not say anything just hold your hold yourself put a guard on that on that tongue you know so since death is not by the power of your words, I mean, uh, the words you the power of the tongue, but the tongue speaks the words. So put a guard and be careful there. God has approved you, God has anointed you, God has called you, and God has equipped you to complete what He's called you to do. Mm -hmm. Big or small, when you have your focus on Him, it's not like the world. You know, they compare, they compete. Amen? Which is best? How big is it? They keep climbing and climbing and climbing. And they don't care who they climb over to get to the top. That's it. With God, if it's small or big, it doesn't matter. He gives the glory mm -hmm. and say, thank you, Lord, for choosing me. Thank you for being there for me. Mm -hmm. Just be thankful for being able to say unto him. Yes. Um, find that scripture, Scotty, uh, Colossians 3, 23, 24. Should be a slide there. Yeah, that's good. Giving thanks. For the call he's given you. Be grateful uh -huh. for the call that God has given us yes. to meet each and every need. Don't grumble, don't complain oh uh, about your call or your job <laughs> or the difficulties that oh you face boy. each and every day. Yes. Just give him thanks. And the mm -hmm. thing is, don't magnify yeah. the problem. Magnify your God. Amen. Things will come. Negative things will come against you. But still magnify God and not the problem because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world our God is bigger than anything any mountain anything coming against you Colossians 3 23 24 and the King James says and whatever you do yes you do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men Amen. knowing that the Lord ye shall re the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the uh, inheritance for ye serve the Lord Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Whatever you're doing, prepare yourself and say, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Because <laughs> if you catch an attitude so, towards somebody and you do it unto them and you're going to say or do a poor job or say or, or the wrong things, mm -hmm. the Lord, I'm doing this unto you, Lord. No. God's already blessed you and God has already rewarded you mm -hmm. and this is good that to know. I wrote it here, it says and whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance of, of the inheritance. Yes. For you serve the Lord Christ. Yes. Amen. When you see it that way, just he's gonna bless all the things that you do. Amen. I'm doing this under you, Lord. Whether you're doing it for the church, you're doing it for your, your job, you're doing it for your work, whatever. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. The Amplified says this. It says, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from the soul. That is, put it your very best <coughs> effort. Mm -hmm. Put in your very best effort. as something done for the Lord and not for men. Mm -hmm. Because if we do it for men, mm -hmm. you know, you're in the flesh. And you're going to do a poor job. Well, you know what? I get to do some jobs where no people's around. Mm. And they're out, of, they're, they're out of town. They're out of state. Mm. And they don't see the job. So I can just sidetrack and no. just send them a bill. Mm -hmm. And they send me a check. Mm. Ah, I don't, I don't yeah. do that. I do it as if the Lord's watching me. The Lord knows what I'm doing. So I'm going to do my best. Mm -hmm. And you know what I do? Just to keep myself I take pictures before and after and I send it to them this is what your place look like this is what I did for you amen I'm being honest I'm being truthful and they're paying me and I'm gonna do my job right amen so praise God it's just just me but you can do that knowing that with all certainty that it is from the Lord not from men for you will receive the inheritance which is your greatness, greatest reward. 
It is the Lord Christ whom you actually serve. Man, you need to write this down somewhere and just live by this each and every day. That's Colossians 3, 23, 24. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord will bless us and promote us to greater heights. Yes. Where's promotion come from? Promotion comes from God. He's going to put you in the right place at the right times mm -hmm. for you to be promoted. Yes. Amen. And thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, think a story about Joseph, how Joseph, <laughs> he had a bunch of brothers, <laughs> and the brothers were jealous of him. Look at that coat. Yeah, yeah. Especially that coat. <laughs> he said, we're we, we going to get rid of him, the brothers say. He said, let's kill him. <laughs> nice brothers. <laughs> They want to kill the no. little brother. <laughs> but no, they ended up selling him to slavery. Mm -hmm. But they put him in a hole. And they said, no, we can take him out. You know, we can sell him, you know. <laughs> so they sold him to slavery. But you know what? <laughs> People try to put you down, put you in a hole. But God's going to promote you. Yes. Amen. Amen. He did everything he did. He did honest. And he's, he did it unto the Lord. And Lord promoted him and dug him out from wherever he's at, wherever you happen to be. God's going to find you. God knows where you're at. Yes. And he's going to raise you up mm -hmm. and promote you. Yeah. So see yourself. Don't try to hide yourself. Don't try to do it yourself. God serve him first. And he's going to see you. Paul and Silas beaten. We're doing the Lord's work. And they, 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 they took him way down into the dungeon. Mm -hmm. And they had him way down there. So they're all beat. And they started singing praises unto the Lord. And the Lord found them. And he released them. <laughs> and the jailer was about ready to kill himself. He said, eh, don't kill yourself. We're all here. And he, him and his family got saved because of that. Yeah. So he knows where you're at. Some of you have been running, running from him too, too, too long. And for a long time. And it's time to be home. It's time to come home. Amen. Praise God. Give him thanks. For allowing us to live and serve Him. You are so special. God chose you. And the reason you're here is not just to live and then die and then that's the end of it. No. Yeah. He put you here for you to serve Him. Mm -hmm. For you to know Him, have a relationship with Him, and serve Him. Amen? Ooh, man. It says, Rejoice and be glad in this uh, glorious days that He has given us. Again, Psalms uh, 118, 24. This is the day that God has given us. Rejoice and be glad in it. God is pouring out His Spirit around the world daily. Yes, Amen. Yes. And you're included. Yes. You're in the body of Christ. You're the church. So, do your part. Involve yourself. You know, well, God is not here. He can't see me. He can see you. He know where you're at. And he know what you say. He know everything about you. And knows all the good and the ugly about you. And loves you the most. And you can't outdo it. You can't outdo it. You can't outlove and you can't outgive God. Amen. <laughs> he wants you to do unto him. Amen. So whatever it is, it doesn't matter. When you're in love with him, whatever he wants us to do, we'll do and do it unto him. And he's he's blessed. He's 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 happy. He's happy about it. Amen. And if we're happy, we're going to put a smile on our face. Amen? And it's going to attract people. And when people come to you, you're going to say, why do you have a smile on your face? And you're going to let them know, because Jesus loves me. And he loves you so much, he wants you to come into his kingdom right now. Amen. Why don't you receive him as your Lord and Savior? Mm -hmm. Amen? As we close, Amen. as we close, as we close, some of you that are still running, some of you that are still gone, it's time to come home. You know, you can't run anymore. Amen. The days are getting closer and closer. So it's time for you to be home. All you need to do is just receive him as your Lord and Savior. Say, Lord, I've sinned. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And he will. He won't turn you down. But you have to receive him. you got to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Amen. Amen. And if you do those, then, you know, receive him as your Lord and Savior. 
get into a Bible based church, get into the word, start learning the word so you can go out yeah. and do what he wants you to do. Yes. Amen. It's time to change. Make that change. Do an about face uh -huh. and come to Father. Amen. Amen. He's ready for you. We need to be ready for him. Amen. So we need to be ready to do what he wants us to do. And be obedient, be committed, be faithful unto him. Amen. So let's remember that that sickness in your body. He didn't put it there. That's it. Don't say God put this on me to teach no. me something. No. no he didn't. If he put it on Jesus at the cross, why would he put it on you? And there's no sickness in heaven to give you. That's it. Amen. So all you need to do is confess what the word of God says. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Confess it over yourself. I don't care how many times you gotta say it. No malfunctions in your body. Everything functioning the way God created God, God created it to function. So I'm believing everything in me is working together, Amen. is in unity. Amen. And working fine in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. I receive. <laughs> I receive my healing too. And I tell myself. And I speak it out too. I say, and I say, body, receive your healing. Amen. I am healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Everything outside and everything inside. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. It's time to give. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. You can uh, check our board there. It says our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate yeah. button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, New Beginning Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. And uh, just want you to know that. You know that God loves you. Amen. So praise God. Thank you.